Well, it's Wednesday. Good morning and welcome to our daily prayers. Another invitation this morning to be still before God. One of the places I most notice stillness is when I'm in the middle of a wood or a forest and it's quiet, but there's almost a sort of tangible quiet. You can feel the stillness. And so my hope this morning is we pause now, slow ourselves down and be aware of God's presence with us. I hope a tangible presence in your stillness. So a space as we open ourselves now. Set my heart on fire with love for you, O Christ my God, that in its flame I may love you with all my heart, with all my soul, and with all my strength, and my neighbour as myself, so that keeping your commandments I may glorify you, the giver of all good gifts. We're in Matthew 21 again. Um, Jesus has just cleared the temple and here we are at verse 14. The blind and the lame came to Jesus at the temple and he healed them. But when the chief priests and the teachers of the law saw the wonderful things he did and the children shouting in the temple courts, Hosanna to the son of David, they were indignant. Such a contrast between the attitudes, the blind and the lame come to Jesus and presumably they come at their point of need. They have a need and they realise it and they take it to Jesus. Whereas although the teachers of the law, you might say, will equally have a need. After all, we're all sinners. We've all got it wrong. We all worship God with our lips, but our hearts are sometimes far from him. But all they could see was the embarrassment of it and they were indignant. The way to Jesus is from our point of need. You may be fortunate enough to have your health, but perhaps you're a bit like me and know that deep down within us, we've done things that are not of God and thoughts and cherished ideas which are unhealthy. A time to come to Jesus with our point of need, of forgiveness and help with all that we struggle with. Maybe you'd like to form your own prayer now as you talk to Jesus. And so as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen.